Hi, this is Calvin with MakerFixes.com. Today I'm going to cover uh, a, a fix for some of the problems you get when your filament backlashes and it hangs up on you. Now, sometimes you get these cheaper filaments, and I like to buy the cheaper filaments. This one was pretty cheap here. I think I paid $12 delivered for that little US. But sometimes you get them and they're just going to be hung up. You're not going to, you know, this, this poorly wrapped. I don't know. I haven't opened that up. Uh, got it off of Amazon. It may be fine. But uh, sometimes I get this problem. And this is the, uh, I think this is the one that came with either the trunks or the in that. They got this little bolt set up on top up here. And this is supposed to sit on here. And I get this in here like, the, like so. And I don't use this, so. Like this. So you got this thing here and it's supposed to spin up. Okay. Well, I think one of the problems I had earlier on with my printing career is sometimes this thing just rolls back a little bit and then or frees up or spins too far and loosens all this filament up. It's not always a problem with getting it hung up, but sometimes it's just because this has become loose or spins a little bit backwards, uh, a little jerk in the machine or something you're doing. And you end up putting a loosening this, and you never want to get this loose. Once you loosen this up, it'll unspool on you. Kind of like fishing line, obviously, or weedier line, which is basically what it is. Weedier line, same, same, same size stuff, and it can tangle pretty easy. So I was looking for a solution to try to figure out a way to stop some of that backlash, and I found this, and I'll make a link to it. There, it's from Thingiverse. They made it for the CR10, and it's a lot of build. It's a lot of hours. It's a big build. But there, let me get the camera over here so you can see it here. Turn that light off, might not blind y'all. See, now, this right here, we probably don't need the, there we go. This here has bearings up in here, okay? And this is a lot of build here. There's a lot of parts here, okay? And I got put one more part that'll actually mount it from another thing verse account that'll actually mount this to the top of my CR-10. You see, what, what happens here is it doesn't have the, the freedom here and so it doesn't slide back as easy as it did before and this here I never get that backlash from it it just it just keeps it just rolls out the extruder pulls it out as it needs it and that's one of the reason ways I got rid of some of that the, when you get that loose spool on some of them cheap uh, spool holders um, just want to show you a quick little fix a couple minutes here this here took several days to print on one printer uh, there's there's a lot there's a lot of material here. It's going to take you a good portion of a roll. That, that's the, what's left on the roll after I printed it. It's, that's something that's been printed on that roll. Um, but it does help with that thread getting uh, the, the uh, plastic getting backlashed on you and, and catching. Uh, actually, the before I did this, I had spools that can pull right up into the extruder and be laying there and break off the line, break off the plastic. And just kind of ruin a print in the middle. Uh, that doesn't happen so much with this this little rig here, which is getting a little bit beat up. But just wanted to show you that. That's just a, a, a one of the things where I didn't make it. I'll put credit to who did it. Uh, really helped me a bunch. Uh, not a little build, not a quick build, but but an effective build. I hope this helps. You know, if you like you like what we see here, or like it or subscribe, and you all have a good day today.